I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 241, Quantrix and Tableau Integration, 5th grade science fair. I have here for the first time ever featured my daughter, Zella, on the podcast. She's a 5th grader at a local uh, elementary school here in North Idaho. And her and a few of her comrades, if you will, participated in a science fair project together. And they used Quantrix and Tableau. And I'd just like to ask Zella what her science project our science fair project was all about. Um, it was about the as- amount of acidity in certain fluid. Yeah. So what did you do in order to uh, measure the the acidity of certain fluids? We put um, lemon juice, vinegar, so um, seven up, and orange juice, and with mixed it in with baking soda and then we saw how much the balloon filled up that was on it. <laughs> so you put a balloon on a bottle mm-hmm. after you had added some soda and then some of these liquids into it and you measured the height and width, is that correct? Yes. And you measured that in inches. Mm-hmm. Excellent. And then also you wanted to record how much of each of the liquid you put in as well as the amounts of the baking soda. Is that correct? Yes. So when I found out they were doing the science project, I thought, you know, this sounds exactly like a Quantrix model. So we went ahead and, of course, we put the results into Quantrix. It was very scalable. It was very easy uh, to do. And then after we did that, we went ahead and we pushed this data out to uh, out to a text file. And then uh, we had Tableau pick up that data from from the text file, and we went ahead and we modeled that in Tableau, and we created uh, some great visualizations for these fifth, fifth graders to use in their uh, science project presentation. Uh, what did your teacher say about your uh, graphics or your charts? They were good, and yeah. So uh, we had a bubble chart we created, and then, of course, a kind of a heat map of the results in uh, each one of the experiments. Uh, one of my favorites that didn't quite make the cut was the tree chart that are all the rage with the kids nowadays, but not with the kids in North Idaho. They didn't necessarily think the tree chart was really great, but the integration between Quantrix and Tableau was really so easy that a bunch of fifth graders could do it. Do you have any uh, last words to say about Quantrix or Tableau or their integration? No. All right, excellent. What do you have to say to the rest of these people? Thank you for watching. All right. And I appreciate you uh, watching. And, of course, if you have any questions about Quantrix, if you have any questions about uh, Tableau, its integration with Quantrix, I mean, really, in Quantrix, we model our data, and then in Tableau, we can visualize our data, and it needs to really probably be in that order. If you have any questions about that, I really do hope that you'll reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix. Uh, my daughter, I'm working on her to get her to try to love Quantrix. And we want to make you Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.